Welcome everybody. I'm Tom Anderson and this and welcome to our very first ever Friday webinar with Destinations Together. As always, a warm welcome to our Zoom listeners and to cruise executives that are tuning in. Today's webinar focuses on a unique yet simple technology to disinfect air and surfaces 24-7, 365. This technology, which could be installed in the ventilation system or function as a standalone unit, does not use any chemicals and is totally safe for people. Other systems rely on HEPA filters to purify the air, but HEPA filters are useless against viruses. Respir uses the natural catalytic conversion process to produce oxidants to decontaminate air and surfaces in a room. This technology, when used correctly, can dramatically reduce the chances of disease transmission. Respir technology is a key component to disinfecting an enclosed space, but it must be supported by a regular clean protocol protocols. Today, key executives from Respir will provide an overview of how the system works and to showcase the family of products suited for a wide variety of applications. This technology is a game changer. Today's presentation is hosted by Destinations Together, which is an open platform of relevant information and collaboration to support the tourism industry. It is designed to help everyone connect, collaborate, and hopefully find solutions to bridge the gap until the cruise ships and tourism return to your region. I'll turn this over to Larry to share some important information and then introduce our speakers for today's Destinations Together webinar on Wednesday. Thanks, Tom. We wanna to thank you all for joining us today. We also wanna recognize our guest speakers from this past Wednesday featuring Global Ports Holding, GPH, and NASA Update with Mike Morrow, NASA Cruise Port CEO, who provided a general review of NASA and Antigua projects. Mark Robinson presented a brief summary of GPH, including their long-term perspective of the global cruise industry. Please check out our website for GPH's webinar and all the other ones we have done over the last 10 weeks. Before we begin, let me remind you of a few important housekeeping items. We are recording this webinar and we will upload it to the website in the next few days. There is a Q&A tab below on your screen. Please feel free to send through questions or comments. And as time permits, we will ask Javier Manuel and Eduardo for their feedback. We encourage you all to vote on questions listed in the Q&A to help ensure we include the most relevant ones for you all. Please remember, we and our guests are only providing our opinions and possible sources for further intel. We are happy to have Javier Manuel and Eduardo from Resper Technology who will be presenting Disinfecting Air and Surfaces. Resper Technologies features a line of products to safely disinfect contaminated air and hidden surfaces 24-7 and have complete family, has a complete family of products to fit various applications. Javier Manuel and Eduardo, we are happy to have you uh, with us today to present Resper Technologies. If you all can take a moment to introduce yourselves, um, that would be that would be great before we get started. Thank you. And now I need to unmute you all. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Manuel Del Cueto from RESPR, and we'd be glad to assist you, assist you with any questions. Eduardo? Oh, yeah. Okay. I think Eduardo's not here, so, or yeah, Eduardo, you want to come on? I, I, my name is Eduardo. Do you listen to me? Yes. Yeah. My name is Eduardo. Yeah. Most of you know me. Uh, I do different things for the cruise lines. And since seven years ago, I've been working with CPR on so different uh, proposals for the cruise industry. And now I think it's a very good time for, for rest PR. Thanks, Eduardo. Sorry, Thank you. Um, hello, first of all, uh, I want to thank you all for your time today. I want to thank Larry and Tom for the invitation. My name is Javier Del Cueto, 
and I will have the pleasure of giving you a brief presentation on our technology and the solution that we that we're offering. So I know how important your time is. So uh, let me just share my screen, and we will go right through it. Okay. So um, just just one second. Yes. Okay. So. As you know, due to this unprecedented health crisis that we are experiencing these days, the coronavirus has pretty much opened our eyes to the invisible world of viruses and bacteria that prior to this, we were very little concerned about, but now we see how dangerous and how important it is. Nowadays, uh, we know that interior spaces are five to 10 times more contaminated than the outdoors, Viruses, bacteria, and fungus are just some of the pathogens or microorganisms harmful to health that proliferate in them. Uh, the return to this famous new normal that is talked about so much these days will undoubtedly bring with it new challenges for which we think we must be prepared. And so uh, we think it is crucial for us to offer customers and employees the health the health confidence required these days because basically what they are looking uh, right now first and foremost is for safe spaces that do not put their health at risk from contagion from viruses and bacteria so the technology we use in, in respr is uh, based on research carried out by nasa for space missions and it's the only active purification in the market that brings the solution to the problem and eliminates continuously and effectively 99.9% uh, .9 of viruses, bacteria, fungus, and spores in air and in surfaces. So let me explain in a very simple way how we achieve all of this. So uh, by any chance, have you ever wondered why we use hydrogen peroxide to disinfect and how does it work? Uh, obviously, this is a bit of a rhetorical question. At least I had never asked myself that question until I started studying this, this technology, but it's actually something quite simple though. As you know, hydrogen peroxide is simply water that has an extra molecule of oxygen that makes it H2O2, right? This uh, makes it an extremely unstable molecule that is continually seeking to stabilize itself and succeeds when it finds two available hydrogen molecules thanks to which it becomes water again. And that is precisely the way it disinfects. When hydrogen peroxide comes in contact with any virus or bacteria, it steals these hydrogen molecules to become water again. And in the process, it destroys completely these microorganisms. I always explain this at the beginning because even though this is a, an oversimplification, that is pretty much what our technology does. Associating an ultraviolet high intensity lamp with a noble metal alloy and a hydrophilic coated grid, the NCC technology recomposes the relative humidity on the environment and proactively and constantly sends a, pur a purifying plasma with friendly oxidants through the air among which peroxide predominates, that is hydrogen peroxide in a form of gas in such a low concentration that is completely harmless and safe to humans and pets, but it does exactly the same thing that we just talked about and thus constantly eliminates 99.9% .9 of viruses, bacteria, fungus, spores, and practically any pathogens or harmful, harmful microorganism to health that you might find in the air on any surface and even in the last corner of any closed space, which you cannot do with any filter, as Larry was mentioning, uh, or any other technology that is friendly and compatible with the presence of people. Here you can see in a more explicit way how peroxide surrounds uh, a bacteria in this case. It breaks the protective capsule. It removes the protons and recombines them forming water, and in the process, the bacteria in this case is completely destroyed. Numerous studies have been carried out in the field and in labs, always obtaining the same results. 
as you can see, in a matter in a matter of hours, we eliminate pretty much all viruses and bacteria from the air and from any surface. We also have numerous international certifications that endorse and support this technology. And additionally, we have a class one medical device certificate for the European Union. Among the main benefits of installing our technology, we find evidently the elimination of pretty much all viruses, bacteria, fungus and spore in air and surfaces, as I mentioned, which means obviously savings on cleaning and disinfection products. It means the decrease in absenteeism uh, due to sickness. Uh, basically to give uh, the necessary health confidence that customers and employees need these days to prepare for the new health standards that will surely come with so many changes these days, to strengthen the institutional image of your business, to take care of your clients and to take care of your employees. As you know, uh, there are many, many technologies on the market these days focused on disinfecting interior spaces. And here, I just wanted to show you a little bit more visually why the RESPR solution is so special. Perhaps the most important thing about this technology is that it disinfects the air, it disinfects all surfaces down to the last corner and does it in a way that it's friendly with the presence of human beings. Ozone, for example, is a technology that works very well and in a similar way to peroxide, since it is a natural oxidant that also breaks down microorganisms. This technology disinfects the air, uh, it disinfects surfaces, but its great defect is that it is not compatible with the presence of people. In fact, it is extremely harmful to health. In the US, its use is completely prohibited where there is people. In Spain, in Spain for example, where I'm, I am right now, uh, the Spanish Society of Environmental Health has just recently issued a statement advising against the use of ozone where there's people since the pertinent tests uh, of health risks have not been carried out. Uh, a great advantage of the RESPR technology as the, is that we have the European Union Medical Device Certificate, which means all the tests have been done. And it was determined that it's completely safe to use in space where there's people. EPA filters, or any other filter for that matters, disinfect the air, although I would put an asterisk in there because it only disinfects the air that goes through them, right? And um, basically, if another, well, it's very unlikely for all the air in a room to pass through the filter. Uh, uh, from that, uh, also a very, a very bad thing of it is that it does absolutely nothing on surfaces, right? If, for example, the coronavirus is, uh, somebody left the coronavirus on a table, for example, uh, the, obviously the filter cannot do anything about it and it stays there, uh, continuing as a, as a focus of, of contagion. And this is a technology that uh, obviously you can use where there is people. A little bit the same thing happens to ultraviolet light as to ozone, in the sense that they disinfect the air, uh, they disinfect the surfaces, but that's of little use if you cannot use it where there's people, because uh, the moment you remove uh, the technology from the area, it begins to get contaminated again immediately, and the contagion simply uh, continues to occur completely freely. So that's why the respiratory technology is uh, the most special in this sense. Okay, so uh, we have different devices to best cover the customer's needs. What you see right now on screen is basically the NCC technology or the NCC equipment that produces the technology. In here, basically is the UV lamp with a noble metal alloy and the grid with hydrofoilic coating. Now it only lacks the air supply that makes the air goes through it and thus converting the humidity of the air into peroxide, negative ions, and everything that this technology does. This particular equipment is uh, designed to be placed into the air duct system. If your establishment, for example, where, where you would like to implement the respiratory technology 
has a mere circulation system. This is a very good option because it uses the existing air supply. It is very discreet because it's completely out of sight. When this is the best fit, we usually make a custom project to take the best advantage of the air circulation system that already is in place uh, in order to meet obviously the, the particular characteristics and needs of the areas to be covered. This unit or this uh, device comes in five versions and the difference is in the area they cover. Here, it, it is very important to mention that the correct way to measure the area it disinfects would be in cubic meters. However, in order to give a more tangible idea to customers, in this presentation, we will see it in square meters or square footage. Uh, so, uh, uh, but we will be assuming that the height on the area to cover is three meters. Uh, why? Because at least if you talk to me in cubic meters, I would know uh, how to size it, right? So, uh, however, in, in any case, uh, if you were interested in implementing the respiratory technology uh, for your business, we would be more than happy to help you determine the, the best solution and to do a project to best fit your, your necessities. So this, this unit comes uh, basically in five versions that cover uh, four different areas for, from 40 square meters all the way to 500 uh, square meters, or you can see it as well in, in square feet. Right here. Okay, um, this unit that you, that you see uh, on screen, I call it the plug and play, and quite honestly, it is my favorite. Why? Because it li literally comes completely ready to use. Uh, you just connect it to the electric current, and that is it. You don't need any installation or anything like that. It is a small device about 40 centimeters high um, and you can place it obviously wherever you want. Another great advantage is that it works 24 seven without leaving the air circulation system on at night. Uh, and this one, we have it basically in two versions. One that covers uh, 540 square feet and another one a little bit over 2000 square feet. This other model is basically a more industrial version of the plug and play uh, in the sense that it is, or in here, there is the, you have the NCC unit and a, an air drive system with independent fans. It is ideal for cooling chambers, storage chambers, gyms, or actually practically any space where you want the technology, but you don't want to use your own circulation system or you don't have any air circulation system. Uh, this one, uh, we have it in seven versions, obviously because it's more uh, of an industrial kind of, of device. And it comes, as you see, it, uh, in, it covers a, a great variety of spaces from 270 square feet for, to over 10,000 square feet. This other, uh, this other device that we have uh, is it's a version that works very well in offices or shops or actually any establishment that has a full ceiling with 60 by 60 centimeters tiles. Uh, installation of this, uh, of this unit is very, very simple. It is a model that's uh, never in the way. Uh, it is very visual and gives a very sophisticated image that reminds people that the technology is in there working and taking care of their health. And this one comes actually in two versions, one that covers over a thousand square meters and another one that covers 2,690 square, square feet, sorry. And finally, we have this version uh, that is called the Greyhound that was designed specially for buses or trains, although it can be used for much more places. This version has an extremely simple uh, installation with screws that you put it to the wall or to the ceiling. It is very discreet and we have it in two versions, one covering 270 square feet and one covering 540 square feet. Here you can see 
uh, a couple of ways that you can install this technology in a bus, for example. And basically, to sum things up, RESPR is a perfect solution to offer customers and employees the health confidence required these days. It is the only device on the market that uses NCC technology, which is supported by studies carried out by NASA. And it disinfects continuously 24 hours a day, seven days a week, without, without the need for personnel to operate this technology or uh, the administration of chemical inputs that can be toxic, which can also delay operating times and increase costs. The different models we have allow the technology to be located in any docked or closed space, guaranteeing air disinfect the guaranteeing sorry air and surface disinfection to the last corner with an effectiveness of 99.9%. And finally, it is the ideal solution to satisfy the sanitary standards that the new normal will demand. Well, that was everything I want to share with you today. We will go back now to Larry and Tom and to the Q&A. Thank you. Thank you, Javier. That was excellent. Thank you so, so much. And um, what I want to do now is uh, open up the polls. And uh, we've got three different questions we'd love your feedback on. And uh, then Tom will go ahead and take it from there. And he'll uh, start uh, asking some uh, questions that have come in on emails, as well as questions that uh, we've gotten on the Q&A here. So let me open up the polls, and then I'll turn it to Tom. Can I go now? <laughs> you can go now. OK. All righty. Well, I, um, we did receive some questions in advance. I have one or two of my own as well. Um, but I wanted to start with this question. Uh, we talked at, at the tail end of the, um, the discussion, the presentation, talked about all the different types of the sort of the family of products that you have. And then um, was thinking, and Larry and I were talking about this as well, is there a, um, is there a product that would be good for the individual? Um, maybe if, if a tour guide, you want to make sure the tour guide stays safe uh, because they're surrounded by, by guests, maybe in a tour environment of small group or even large group or on a bus. Is there a, um, I think there's a smaller unit available for the individual, right? Yeah, of course. Actually, when we have one, one a personal device that we call it the self device, and it's the only product in the world that it can use a logo of the NASA. Here I have one, you can see it. And this makes a one square meter, meter around your, your face. So you cannot get infected with all, all other people that you have near to you. Thank you. That could be a really interesting um, uh, one for guides, I think. Or, or maybe uh, bus drivers as well. Exactly. Yeah, it's perfect for that kind of people. Also, the receptionists at the hotels and that kind of people that are in contact with a lot of people. And it's very difficult to be with all the masks all the time. So you can have some, something safer and comfortable, more comfortable. Okay. Basically, open it up to everybody. Yeah, exactly. Any person. Um, and I know you're up for this, one, but I just want to get an idea. The pictures are very good in the presentation, but can you give us an idea about how big a plug and play is? Yeah, of course. Here, here I have put, I put one also to show you. This is a 3001. It, it covers 250 square meters or 3,000 3, uh, square feet and is gradable. You can put higher or to cover more areas or less areas, no? Also, I have here one of the induct products that you, so you can see it. Uh, here is one, here's the part that goes out of the duct, no? So you can see what we have. You put it at the duct. First, you put this part in the duct and then you screw it with, with this, okay? And there's, the NCC cell, that is the other part that you put in there and it goes into the duct, okay? Here so you that, have the, 
So you that bit that you have in your hand, that's the, that's the technology right there. That's yeah, the this is the technology. This is the NCC cell. As you see, here's the metals and everything. And here you have the UV, UV light that goes in there. You know? So that's the same that we can see in, 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 the, in the AP3001 inside. Good, thank you. Thank you for oh, this. You're welcome. Email. That's really helpful. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, a question from Carlos. Is this equipment available for Mexico? And do we need a visit from one of your agents to get a quote? Yes, of course. Uh, actually, I'm living in Cancun, so it's better to us to ship also to Mexico. Uh, first of all, we, we to, to see what kind of equipment you need, first of all, we ask you the square meters or square foot that you already have in this area that you, that you want us to, to cover. And with that, we make a quote. And if you agree with the quote and, and want to invest with us, then we'll see if we need to go there or only we are going to put any kind of plug and play uh, equipment or so going to the docks or put some overwatch. It depends on the facilities that you have. Yeah, and it seems to me that the, uh, the plug and play and, and even the Greyhound are fairly straightforward in terms of, um, you know, you, they can be uh, installed by the individual. Yeah, the same people that they already have in maintenance in their, in, their, in, in their company, they can do it. It's not really hard. We also have a video that explains how you can do it yourself. But if you need the help of us, we have an agreement with a huge company in Mexico of HVAC that is called CIFSA, Ventilation, uh, Calefacción y Ventilación, yeah, that, that people can make the, the installation all, also you want it in the index. They have around uh, 5,000 uh, or 30,000 uh, install, installation guys in, in Mexico. So we can do it also. And, and just to be clear, you serve not just Mexico, but, but no, you we, these all in the world. Yeah, okay, uh, so because you're asking me from Mexico, but we serve all the world. Okay, very good. Uh, this, this question is from uh, Carlos, uh, excuse me, uh, Charles. Uh, can you let me know what system you have for split system air conditionings? Yeah, we don't have anything for mini splits. We're using split units, not central yeah. AC. Yeah, we, we just do that. So we can put a plug and play in, 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 that, in, the, in that area. You know? That is going to be better. So the solution would be a plug and play for that. Yeah, the solution is going to be a, a plug and play or an overwatch. In the, it depends on the on the space that we need to sanitize. Um, uh, this this person is asking uh, a very straightforward question: Where can we purchase the individual units? The one that uh, that uh, Manuel you had around your neck there. The yeah, we, we can. You can you can go on our website or send you send us or we are going to send you. I don't know if you, Larry, or someone can help us sending the information of the company so they can make all the, uh, ask, ask uh, that way for the, the, for the units that they need and we can ship it all around the world from everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. They can uh, get in contact with us and they'll pass it on for sure. Okay, excellent. It would be better. If, if, um, if someone uses this technology, can they completely stop uh, cleaning and disinfecting? Uh, disinfecting, I think, yes. Well, and I think is, is cleaning, no. We are gonna, we're trying to keep cleaning because we are only disinfect, make the disinfection. So it would be better if they uh, continue cleaning, but they can stop disinfecting the, the areas. Okay. Um, is the system itself uh, self-cleaning? Yes, Javier, if you can help us also with this answers yes well the system basically it's cleaning all the viruses and bacteria so it, it shouldn't be uh, you know misconcept as it's gonna clean everything so we eliminate viruses bacteria fungus but it does nothing with dirt or filth or anything like that so we would recommend that you 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 don't stop cleaning you can stop disinfecting or at least you can go back to cleaning the way you used to before the coronavirus right uh, instead, in the terms of uh, self-cleaning, basically this technology is eliminating all viruses and bacteria. The only thing is that this technology, we would recommend for you to clean it a little bit 
uh, every once in a while, the maintenance guys of your establishment can do it just to remove some dust for the technology to work a little bit better and a little bit longer. Uh, something very, very good about this technology is that it is one of the few that needs no maintenance probably in 18 months. So you install the technology and in 18 months with this very simple uh, cleaning uh, that anyone can do, uh, it will last for a year and a half without uh, you needing to, to invest uh, more or to, to do some other uh, expenses. In that sense, when a year, in a year and a half or so, then you would just need to, to change a few parts and it will start working Well, it works. Javier, how do you know when, when the parts need to be uh, uh, replaced? How do you know that you need to do maintenance? Well, uh, it's supposed to be every 18 months because okay. the UV light that you, we only use for like uh, supply of um, energy. energy, no? Uh, it, it, it is his, his life. But if they need it and there's a big company and have a lot of them, we can put a, a how you call it? This. Um, for the maintenance, no? Yeah, for the maintenance, but we can put also the I, a GPRS so you can check if it needs any maintenance. But okay. there's a LED, a LED light, as you see here. So if it turns off, you need to replace the, the cell. Oh, okay. All right, so there's a little, a little warning light there. Maintenance yeah, light. exactly. And well, is the cell, that tube that you showed, when you open up that box, that, that tube is what you replace? Yeah, no, we replace all the cell because also the metals and everything it is gonna lose a little bit of efficiency. Okay. So, so over know. time, the noble metals yeah. uh, you degrade. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, of course, we're gonna change only this. Here you have the, the cell or the technology. So this is what we are gonna replace Good. every 18 months. Okay. okay. And it's basically twenty percent of the cost of the of the return. Exactly. Um, Javier, in in your presentation, you had a comparative grid, and yes. and on that grid, it showed uh, the respir system, of course, but then it also showed you ultraviolet light. How yes. how is the ultraviolet light different from the respir system? Well, basically, uh, we use UV light only as an energy source, not as a disinfection method. The uh -huh. problem with ultraviolet light is that as a disinfecting method, you have to use it on very high quantities and you have to, for it to be efficient and it needs to be under very controlled uh, conditions. If you lose control on those conditions, it can be dangerous, right? So for this reason, it is used basically like ozone. It is activated when there are no people in the play in, in place and no, sorry, yeah, when there's no people in place and then when people are in place, they deactivate the ultraviolet light because it's not, it's dangerous. So that, that's, that's what I mentioned on that slide that it's, it's no use if when you need it the most, it needs, it, it needs to be turned off. Okay. Can I also add to this, uh, Tom? Uh, UV light cleans the air that goes and the areas that touches the UV light, okay? The respirator is creating the peroxide and sending peroxide. So UV light, if you have a UV light filter inside the air conditioning, it's going to clean the air that passes through that UV light, okay. or it's only making clean air. So when it goes back into the room, and if it touches a, a bacteria or a virus, it's going to get infected and it's right. not going to do anything to that bacteria or that virus. What we're doing is that we're creating peroxide. So these microparticles of peroxide are killing everything inside the room. That's the big difference. The okay. big difference is that one only cleans what goes through, the other one sends disinfectant to all the room. Perfect. That makes sense. Um, one, one other question we had here, uh, does the number of people in a given enclosed space, because this, as I understand it, this technology really doesn't work outside, of course, um, on, a, on a space, an in interior space, does it make any difference, the number of people that are, that are, that are in this space or how many people will be, be there 
and when you're trying to decide what system to put into the space, like if there's going to be two people or if there's going to be 30 people in the room, does that make a difference? I would too. Well, uh, it makes uh, basically what we are saying here or the areas that we're covering is we're going a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit over into the cleaning process. So if it's not a super very high uh, contaminated area, like, I don't know, something where with water treatments or anything like that, for standard use, which could be, I don't know, like a, a bus or, or an office or whatever, these, the square meters or square footage that we, that we, this, that we described cover basically a normal environment. If, if it would be like a very, very high, uh, very, very contaminated environment for whatever reason, then we would have to take a look at it and do some tests in order to probably put more, uh, a, a bigger equipment there. Okay, so, so maybe the number of people and the usage in the space would be at least something that would, would be right. considered when is deciding this, what is the sign. We design and put uh, one equipment that covers for uh, for all that people. No, we are if you we are talking about a bus and we are talking about in that bus we're going to have 46 people. We know that we are going to cover for 46 people. If there is going to be two or three people, there's no nothing matter, but because we don't send we don't send send anything harmful, so it would be great if there's gonna be two or three, it's gonna be the same purification as the, or if there's gonna be 42 people in okay. the same room. Um, and you know, on j just going back to the self, the cell phone that you're, Manuel, that you're ah, wearing. Okay, this one, yeah. Can, can you exp explain just a little bit more? It says NASA on there, just trying to make sure I understand the connection uh, back yeah, to- we are, we are the only, comp the only, this is the only product in the world that we, that can have the logo of the NASA in there because what we do is to bring the technology that the NASA use, so we, we use it in the air right now. No? Right. So uh, NASA guarantee or, or, or prove the system, and he knows that it, if you use this, this self unit, you will be covered to be infected with everything. You don't need, doesn't need to use a mask. Okay. Yeah, I, got, I do have a, a further question, uh, Javier, Manuel, or Eduardo. Back on the, the bus one, if you, if you think of the size of that bus unit that you have, the Greyhound one, you know, and I think I've got a 10-passenger van or I've got a five-passenger, six-passenger taxi, and then back to what you said, Manuel, a 46-pack bus, you know, one, will those units, as big as they are, fit in a taxi and a van, number one. And number two, can you kind of explain the, the, uh, the, the hookup of these units? I mean, obviously I'm sure they're going up into the, to the roof of the, the vehicle on the inside, but then what's the process of hooking it up to make it work? There is a, um, a respiar unit that was designed for a gray count. So it's designed for a bus. Like the 3,000 that Manuel has, the 3,000 covers 3,000 square feet, which goes to, to 250 square, uh, 3,000 cubic feet, no, or square feet. Yes, 250 square meters. But if you have a, a place smaller, you can regulate the flow of air and the amount of peroxide. Actually, I have one like those in my house, in my kitchen, and I was telling, Manuel, that sometimes it gave me like a smell of, of the peroxide. You smell like if you just clean everything around. And he said, yeah, you have it too high. You have to have it in the exact amount that is sending all the peroxide, enough peroxide for the whole room, but without going too far. And I don't know, I, I have never seen the Greyhound one, but I believe it's pretty much the same, that you can regulate, regulate it depending on the size of the unit. Okay. How is it installed? Where is it? fit into the to the the bus the taxi or the the van we were looking everywhere in the any space that we can put uh, two screw uh usually on the roof. we can put in the roof we can put in the back if you have a, a bathroom in the wall of the bathroom in the outside wall of the bathroom it depends in, in everywhere you want to to put it it will fit 
and it's sucking the the air that's inside the vehicle and yeah, then just just a little out. bit we we are not we are not a filter so we doesn't need to pass all the air that you have in the bus to filtrate it we only need a little bit of the air that you have in the bus so we can convert that to peroxide okay so it's got itself it, within yeah. the unit, it's it's sucking the air in to create what you need for the product. Exactly. Yes. Got yes. it. Okay. Okay. Twelve volts, so you can just put the two little wires and connect it like to up to the the light of the the roof or something. Yeah, where exactly. Got yeah, exactly. Volts will hook up. Okay. All right. Um, Tom, I don't have any further questions. If, no, if I, 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 we don't have any more from the Q and A, and I've I've covered everything that was sent in advance as well. Okay. Anything else, Javier, Manuel, or Eduardo, you'd like to share before we, we wrap this one up? No, I just wanted to thank you, uh, Larry. Thank you, Tom, for the opportunity. Uh, I don't know, Manu, you have anything else to, to share? No, that's it. Uh, talking about the buses, right now we're already doing uh, uh, installing some equipments with Volvo and Mercedes from the factory. So there's wow. a lot of uh, bosses that are already gonna go out with our technology, nice. so that was is great. No, so we know Good. that it's working. And I, and you did mention, I think, to us that there was a possible uh, video you're looking at developing for the bus hookup. Yeah, and set up. Yeah. That would be great to get yeah. once you have time to do it. I think we're gonna have it this uh, this weekend. Okay, probably Monday or Tuesday, so I can send it to you. And if you make us, uh, that would be you, awesome. It is very important. I, I would like to share one thing very important. If you see all the what CDC or what the uh, who is saying, the most dangerous spaces are the closed spaces. That's Why? Right. Because in the in the outside, the sun, the oxygen, everything it kills and spreads more and dilutes the coronavirus. This is the technology that is cleaning full time, 24 seven, the closed spaces. Okay, we tried to use it long time ago, seven years ago for the norovirus in the ships. And the problem with the norovirus is that the cruise liners, they didn't know where the norovirus was gonna appear, on which ship, on which deck, on which room. So, and they were not willing at that time to put it in every single room and in every single closed space. I think now with the coronavirus is a complete different story. And I think it makes this the perfect, uh, more competitive solution as you make one investment, but it lasts for 18 months. And then you can, you, you know that your spaces are completely virus, bacteria, or germ free, no? Okay. Um, and while we were chatting here, one, one more question came through from Yvonne. Um, uh, do you happen to know uh, how much electricity uh, it needs for the for the bus unit, the unit that you put on the bus, the Greyhound? Uh, yes, it's like gonna be watts, right? 15, I think. 15, 15, 15, 15 watts. watts, yes, that's correct. 15, one five? One five. One five. Okay. All right, thank you. Larry, do you have anything else? Um, just as Eduardo, you were talking there for a minute as far as confined space. I remember, I think it was you had mentioned to me in the beginning that, you know, you think of a restaurant, you think of a kitchen, you think of all the fresh vegetables and all the produce and everything else that this system helps with that. Can you explain that further? Uh, <laughs> we try to, uh, this technology, like Manuel, well, like Manuel usually explained it, before, Nobody care about disinfected. So we used to sell it for tangible pro purposes, you know, for eliminating others. Like if you go to some ships, you will see this technology in the casinos because it helps to eliminate the odors of tobacco or the different odors in rooms, in special rooms, you know, allergies. But all of those were tangibles. And one thing that we used it for was to put it on the groceries, on the fruit and vegetables uh, rooms inside the ship so they will last longer. For two reasons. One, they eliminate the, the funguses that start eating and decomposing the, the, the fruit and vegetables and also the ethanol, right, Manuel? Yes. So it eliminates the ethanol and that helps the fruit and vegetable last way longer. Hmm. Fantastic. Okay, thank you. 
Well, listen, guys, that was that was awesome. We really appreciate it. And uh, um, I know we discussed that you'll be sending us a, a presentation video, basically of everything that Javier, you know, presented, and we'll share that with the uh, with those uh, that are on with us today and those that you know we have on our our, our list to, to send out the information. So again, thanks thanks very very much, and I think it's got some great uh, great things to add to everybody's toolbox as they're okay. trying to figure out where we move forward. So thanks again. Thank you um, for inviting us. You betcha. Mm -hmm. For all of our listeners today, we will uh, not be having our normal webinar on Wednesday next week and hope to see you on July 8th at 2 p.m. Uh, for Retool and Reactivate Your Brand with Bob Allen. Bob Allen uh, is, is the CEO and Chief Storytelling Officer for an innovative, multifaceted experience design firm called Ideas. Um, in this relaxed, entertaining presentation, Bob will explore tips and tricks to retool and reactivate your brand. Used to use the current situation, how to use the current situation as an opportunity to break free and innovate, and also the pillars of destination performance. Please visit our website at www.destinationstogether.com to register for this webinar. As always, we will be sending out a reminder, and if you follow us on social media, you will find the, the links uh, there as well. Please don't hesitate to share our website with others. We'd like to you know, continue uh, moving forward with this and enjoy all the new uh, uh, folks joining us. Um, well, it's time to wrap up this uh, second webinar. Uh, so thank you everybody for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you next Wednesday on July 8th. Be strong, be safe and be healthy. Eduardo, Manuel and Javier, many thanks for being here today with us. Tom? Thank you, Larry. Team Rusper, thank you very much. It's been wonderful. We appreciate it. A lot of good information. And uh, these, these, uh, these products really are a game changer. This technology is a game changer. Um, until next time, stay healthy and take care of each other. Ciao. Thank you, Tom. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye. Destination together. Won't you set me free? I'll take a train. It doesn't really matter to me Destination people Always seem to find The magic and the mystery